Hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we are picking my December TBR. Yes, December. Don't even get me started. I'm gonna go through the November prompts first and see how I did. Just so we can figure out where to start on the board uh, this time. Um, so yeah, let's just go through the prompts. Uh, in order that I got them last month. So the first prompt was emotional, um, which was a story breath prompt, and I picked up uh, disability visibility um, for that. I did read this, um, wouldn't say it is a particular emotional read, um, but yet still I did read the book for that prompt. The next prompt was buzzwords color, uh, and I picked white tears, brown scars to read for that. Didn't read that. The third prompt was a book by an indie press and I wanted to read World of Wonders, um, but I haven't read that one either. The fourth prompt was to buy a book uh, and specifically to buy a book by a black author. Uh, I wanted to get a non-fiction book um, just to celebrate non-fiction November and I ended up buying How the Word is Passed by Clint Smith, which has been a very well-regarded non-fiction book of the last couple of years. Um, so yeah, I'm very excited to add this to my collection. Then the fifth prompt was a five-star prediction. Um, and for that I picked The Break by Katharina Fermat. It didn't end up being a five-star read for me, but I still really enjoyed it. Um, so yeah, I did finish that prompt. Then prompt number six was a book with a name in the title, and I wanted to read Travels with Charlie uh, by John Steinbeck, but I didn't get to this one either. Prompt number seven was a card with uh, the skull on it, and for that I picked this chunkster of a book, um, which was my book club book for this month. Um, and I did manage to finish that one. And then the last prompt was a book with a body of water on the cover. Um, I only have the, the hardback cover um, because I still have about 20 or so pages to, to read. So uh, officially I didn't finish it in November, but I am still going to count it anyway. Um, and that is A Line in the Word by uh, A Line in the World by Dr. Noss. Um, so yeah, that was another prompt finished. And then for the fewer prompt, I got the rabbit card. Uh, I haven't heard back from anyone yet, so that means unfortunately I'm moving a space backwards on the board. And together with the three prompts that I didn't finish, uh, in total I'll be moving backwards four spaces on the board um, when I start my new rolls today. Okay, so that was November. Um, for December I don't have a lot of reading plans. I'm doing a buddy read of this book, Deep Deep Blau by Nikki Decker with my Instagram buddy Suze. So yeah, I'll I'll try and fit this in to the game this month, but I'll be reading it either way. And I'm also doing the Read What You Own challenge, but a light version of it. Um, my goal at the beginning of the year was to get my t TBR down to 50 books. Um, right now it stands at 64, so I'm not too far off, but um, I have to do some work to get it down to 50. Um, I mean, I never really read 14 books a month, um, except in the temporary insanity that was Wonderthon. Uh, you know, I usually don't read 14 books a month. Um, so I'm gonna put myself on a book buying ban. Yes, that's true, a book buying ban until I got my TBR down to 50. Um, so that does change the game a little bit because I have um, usually I have book buying prompts in uh, on the board. Um, so for December, whenever I land on a book buying prompt, I will just move one space back 
I have them spaced out so they're never like one next to each other. Um, and then there is a chance I will get to the end of the board today. Um, and my original idea was to treat myself to a book buying trip to a charity bookshop. Obviously that's not going to help bring my TBR down. So when I, um, so if I get to the end of the game today, I will um, treat myself to a reading day. Maybe do like a 12 and 24 or 12 and 48. But yeah, just dedicate a whole day to reading or maybe even a whole weekend. Um, I think that'll be pretty exciting. Uh, so yeah, that is my plans for December. Um, let's just get into the rolls. Okay, let's do some rolls. Um, we ended right there last time. Uh, and I'm going to move four spaces backwards. Uh, and I always have to think which way is the beginning and which way is the end. Uh, yeah, this one's the end, so we're going one, two, three, four. Right, let's get into the first roll. That is five, so it's one, two, three, four, five, which is one of the cards. And that is one of the other cards. Um, of a Jeanette frame. Roll number two is six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One of the regular prompts. Uh, and that is a hardback book. Roll number three is a one. Another card prompt. And that is this very cute little hedgehog. Roll number four is one again. And that is a slow paced book. Roll number five is five. One, two, three, four, five. And that is a book from my TBR tin. Roll number six is five. One, two, three, four, five. Another card. And that is a bottle of milk. Roll number seven is four. One, two, three, four. Which lands me on a star. Uh, and I can't quite remember what that meant. So I'll have to look that up. I think it was just a free pick but I'm not sure anymore. So obviously we got to the end so for the last roll I'm gonna start at the beginning again. Yeah, roll number eight is four. One, two, three, four. Another book buying prompt and that is short stories. Okay, let's see what books I picked for December. The first card was this one, uh, that is Jeanette Frame. I think she's a New Zealand author, but let's find out what, what the booklet said about Jeanette Frame. Okay, so Jeanette Frame, being at home, being a stranger and knowing yourself. Jeanette Frame was born to a large, poor family on a New Zealand farm. Her brother had, had epilepsy and two of her sisters drowned in adolescence. Misdiagnosed with schizophrenia, Frame, um, Frame spent most of her 20s in psychiatric, psychiatric wards, receiving 200 electroshock treatments and narrowly escaping a lobotomy. After her release, she pursued a solitary life and wrote autobiographical fiction about hospitalization and a displaced self. And for this prompt I picked The Vanishing Act of Esme Lennox uh, by Maggie O'Farrell, um, which is about uh, a young woman in the 1930s um, who is also sent to a psychiatric hospital, probably because um, she was considered a difficult woman. 
uh, and her family didn't know what to do with her. So their solution was uh, to send her to a psychiatric hospital. Uh, and from what I read in that little blurb about Jeanette Frame, I think that might have also happened to her. Um, so yeah, I think this would fit really well. Prompt number two was a hardback book. And for this I will be reading Slex in Distal by Han Anhele Lastadius. Um, the English translation of this is stolen. Um, I think this will be a perfect winter read. I mean, the cover looks very, very wintry. And I think it's set in like North Sweden or the north of Sweden um, uh, during the winter months. So the, like, the days will be very, very short. So yeah, I think it will be perfect for this time of year. And then prompt number three was the hedgehog. Uh, and the little booklet says about the hedgehog. Uh, da, 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 da. Vulnerability, hiding the heart and tenderness. Uh, and for that I picked The Island of Missing Trees by Alif Shafak. Um, I can't quite remember what this is about, but I believe it's about two secret lovers uh, who meet under this fig tree. Um, and like the tree plays a role in the book as well. Um, so I felt like this secret love would fit the, the like hiding the heart, vulnerability part. Um, and also I think it's a tender fruit. So yeah, I feel like it fits. Then problem number four was a slow paced book. Um, and and I picked The Tie That Binds by Kent Haru for this one. This is about an elderly woman who is accused of murder. And I think this is one of those slow paced books that sort of explore her life. So it's not necessarily uh, a crime a crime novel, even though it has a crime at the heart. But it's more about her life and how the events of her life came to be. Prompt number five was a book for my TBR tin. Um, which I have right here. In my TBR tin are just all my unread books uh, and I recently went through them and uh, picked out all the ones I've already read and added my most recent acquisitions. So let's pick a slip of paper. There we go. Uh, and that says Flucht Dans Fonds which is a, a Dutch book where three different authors wrote a book together. Um, I'm not sure what it was about, but I am very interested in uh, in it. I can't quite remember who the authors were off the top of my head, but yeah, could be very interesting. Then a prompt number six was Milk, so which was this card. Um, and the booklet says on milk, nourishment, parents and nostalgia. Uh, and I chose to read another Dutch book for this one. Uh, Ik ben jullie meester by Jeffrey Spalberg. The title translates as um, I am your master, um, which is a sort of autobiographical novel um, where the author writes about his father and his experience coming from uh, Suriname to the Netherlands. It's a book about a parent, so I thought it would fit that way. And then prop number seven was the star, uh, and like I thought it was just a free pick, so a book I thought I would like. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna go the easy route and take my buddy read for this one. Um, Deep Deep Blau by Nikki Decker. Um, this is a novel in essays where the author explores um, what we can learn from underwater animals uh, about, uh, about love and identity. So yeah, potentially this could be very, very good. And then the last prompt was short stories. I have plenty of options for this one, plenty of short story collections. Um, the one that speaks to me the most at the moment is uh, Hungry Hearts and Other Stories by Anzia Jerska, which is a collection of stories first published in 1920. 
and it's about Jewish immigrant women moving uh, to New York. Um, okay, we are actually a couple of hours later because my battery ran out. Um, I think I finished talking about all the books I want to read for December. Um, so I've got the stack right here. Yeah, I think this is going to be a pretty fun reading month. So the last thing I wanted to do was pick a card for you. If you don't know, I always pick a card at the end of my TBR game for you, for which you can then pick a book to read in December. So I've got my stack of cards and we've got um, an author card. So that's the first um, where I picked a author for you. And that is Anne Carson. And the booklet says, uh, Anne Carson, the intellect, intellectual growth, delights of the mind, uh, plagues of the mind. Anne Carson, a prolific writer of poems, essays, and various literary hybrids, works with themes of lost family members, love and lust, religion, and the in intellectual tradition. The combination of this MacArthur Fellowship recipient's austerity, startling insights, and relentless questioning is as awe-inspiring and explosive as the volcanoes that she has been known to paint. Carson is also a scholar of ancient Greek and Latin text and a champion of fellow witches, having translated Sappho and written about Emily Bronte and Virginia Woolf. So yeah, I think that little blurb will give you plenty of options. Um, I'll show you the card again if you want to draw inspiration from that. Um, yeah, let me know by the end of the month if you've had any books for this prompt. Okay, that's it for today. That are the books I wanted to read in December. Um, I hope you all have a lovely day and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.